Okay, in the motion tweening video, uh, Rich Shoup starts off his website. He puts in his uh, background gradient animation, and then he does some stuff in the motion tweening video. So I'm going to duplicate what he does uh, right here. First of all, the first thing he does is he moves this over off of the first keyframe. So we're going to click on this and then drag it over to frame 2. So now we have nothing on keyframe 1. We've moved our keyframe to 2. Then he has the whole thing fade in. So we'll have it fade in uh, to 10, let's say. He doesn't do it to 10. Well, we'll do it to 6. So go to 6 here and hit F6. Right? And so the whole thing is going to fade in here. And then it's going to stay on stage, let's say, until we'll make it stay on stage until 50. So I'm going to hit F5 on 50 so that the movie will fade in and it'll just, I don't know, play, whatever. So this is a movie clip, right? So we go to the first keyframe where the movie clip appears. I'm going to select it. And I'm going to fade it in from this keyframe to this keyframe. So I select the movie clip, I go to Color, Alpha, and it's set it to zero, right? See how it fades in and out? You can, it's basically making it transparent. So I'll go all the way to zero, right? And then on this keyframe, this movie clip is um, set it uh, on this keyframe, the movie clip is set to 100. It's, it's full, you know, Alpha, you know, and I could say 100, right? So anyway, on this one, 0. On this one, 100. Even though it's set to alpha 0 here, you can see it's still there. It's invisible, but if I click on it, you can see the box where it exists, registration point, and the transformation um, circle right here. So I'll click on this keyframe, and I'll go to tween, motion. And now, it will fade in over four frames. So now, if I was to play my animation, you see it fade in. Okay, and that's and if I was to control enter, you see it fade in, and then it's uh, there and starts playing. And then the whole movie starts over once it gets to 50. It starts over at one, is it one again, but we'll be fixing that later. The next thing he does is on a new layer, so we'll make a new layer. We can call this layer uh, gradient BG, right? Gradient background. Make a new layer now. So I'll just click here. And this is where he puts his background image of a mountain. Now you're going to need to have your own background image, and it's going to need to be a traced bitmap. Now I don't have one yet, so I'm going to go find one, and I'm going to go over tracing the bitmap so that you can uh, remember how to do it. But also, you can also go back in your videos to the previous chapter where he um, traced the bitmap of the mountain. Um, see you in the next movie.